This video demonstrates the use of IGW to create a two-dimensional stochastic groundwater model. The primary input to the stochastic model is the hydraulic conductivity, which varies throughout the modeling domain. The random field for hydraulic conductivity is defined by assigning a mean and variance as well as a spatial correlation scale in the x and y directions. The resulting random field is used to solve the groundwater flow model. The flow field is then used for plume transport modeling by releasing a continuous plume source and tracking it forward. Obviously, the random field of hydraulic conductivity has a significant amp impact on both the flow and transport as compared to a uniform field. The steps to create the model are as follows. 1. Create a domain polygon across the entire workspace extent. In Attributes Explorer, assign a constant hydraulic conductivity value in the Flow Properties tab. Then check the box next to the Random button. Open the options for this utility. The user may control the spatial correlation scale of the unconditional random conductivity field using the lambda x and lambda y input boxes. Other options include the assigning of a theoretical variance, selecting various algorithms for creating the random field, and choosing between anisotropic or isotropic models of the conductivity field. 2. Draw a polyline along the left boundary of the model and assign it as a constant prescribed head in Attributes Explorer. Three, draw a second constant head polyline along the right boundary of the model. Because of these two prescribed head boundaries, the general flow direction will be from the left to the right. Four, increase the grid resolution and discretize the model. Five, display the conductivity field with a color map. Open display options and click on the input data button. Check hydraulic conductivity from the options list then launch its options and ensure that zone color field is checked. 6. Run the model. 7. Add a contaminant plume near the left edge of the model using the Create Zone icon. Go to the Prescribed Head slash Concentration sub-tab in Attributes Explorer and check Continuous under Source Concentration and then input 100 ppm into the text box. 8. Discretize the model and change the time step for transport modeling to 40 days. 9. Open the Simulation Time Parameters window and change the simulation duration to 1000 days, and ensure that the Stop Controlled By box and all of its sub-boxes are checked. Note that the steady state flow patterns are used for the contaminant transport being modeled in this example. 10. Run the model. Note the dispersion of the contaminant plume due to the large variability in the single realization of hydraulic conductivity used in this example. Once the transport simulation has completed the final time step, a prompt will ask the user if they wish to continue modeling the plume migration.